In this lesson, we're going to use our knowledge of whole and half steps and look at three major scales and see if those whole and half steps fall in the same place in each scale. If they do, then we'll know that we have a rule that we can plug into every major scale. As we do this, we're going to follow two things. Number one, every scale will have every letter name. Number two, every scale will have eight notes. Let's begin. The first scale we'll look at will be very easy. There's no flats or sharps. That is the key of C. The first thing we will do in this exercise is since the C scale has eight notes, we're going to write the numbers one through eight along the bottom. The notes of the C scale. The first note is a C, the second note is a D, the third note is an E, the fourth note is an F, the fifth note is a G, the sixth note is an A, the seventh note is a B, and the last note is a C. The interval between the first and the second note, the C and the D, is a whole step because we skipped over that C sharp or D flat. The interval between the second and the third note, the D and the E, is a whole step because we skipped over the D sharp or E flat. The interval between the third and the fourth note, the E and the F, is a half step because there is no note in between. They're right next to each other. The interval between the fourth and the fifth note, the F and the G, is a whole step because we skipped over the F sharp. The interval between the fifth and the sixth note, the G and the A, is a whole step. The interval between the sixth and the seventh notes, the A and the B, is a whole step. And the interval between the seventh and the eighth note, the B and the C, is a half step because they're right next to each other. The two places that have half steps in the C major scale are between the third and the fourth note and the seventh and the eighth note. Let's remember that and try this and see if that happens with another scale. We'll look at one of the easiest for trombone players, the B flat major scale. Our first step is, since there are eight notes, let's write in the numbers one through eight. And let's write in our B-flat major scale. The first note is B-flat. The second note is C. The third note is D. The fourth note is E-flat. The fifth note is F. The sixth note is G. The seventh note is A. And the last note is B-flat. The interval between the first and the second note, the B-flat and the C, is a whole step because we skipped over B. The interval between the second and the third note, the C and the D, is a whole step, having skipped over that C-sharp or D-flat. The interval between the third and the fourth note, the D and the E-flat, is a half step because they're right next to each other. The interval between the fourth and fifth note, the E-flat and the F, is a whole step. We skipped over E. The interval between the fifth and the sixth note, the F and the G, is a whole step. The interval between the sixth and the seventh note, the G and the A, is a whole step. And the interval between the seventh and the eighth note, the A and the B flat, is a half step because they're next to each other. The two places in the B flat major scale that have half steps are between the third and the fourth note and the seventh and the eighth note, just like in the C major scale. Let's kind of make sure that this works with almost all scales, if not all of them. Our last scale we will look at is the one with two sharps, and the letter name has two lines, D. Our first step is to write out the numbers 1 through 8, because every major scale has 8 notes. Now we'll write in our D major scale. The first note is D, the second note is E, the third note is F sharp, the fourth note is G, the fifth note is A, the sixth note is B, the seventh note is C sharp, and the last note is D. The space between the first and the second note, the D and the E, is a whole step. The interval between the second and the third note, the E and the F sharp, is a whole step because we skipped over the F natural. The interval between the third and the fourth notes, F sharp to G, is a half step. They're right next to each other. The interval between the fourth and the fifth notes, the G to the A, is a whole step. Between the fifth and the sixth note, the A to the B is a whole step. 
between the sixth and the seventh note. The B to the C sharp is a whole step because we skipped over C. And between the seventh and the eighth note, the C sharp and the D is a half step. The two places in the D major scale that have half steps are between the third and the fourth note and the seventh and the eighth note. Every major scale has whole steps except between the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth notes.